I think it just dawned on me. If I want to meet a high value man, I actually have to get dressed and leave the house. <laughs> All right. So, I don't know about you guys, but I haven't been dating in a while just because I just don't have the energy, the time, or just the patience. So, and when you have natural hair, it's a little harder to date. Uh, it changes the caliber of men that are attracted to you. So, I'm going to test out some things that I have heard floating around YouTube for a while. You know, what type of man do you attract with your natural hair? What type of man like straight hair? What type of man like curly hair? You know, all of that. So since I'm looking for a specific type of man, which is a high earning, high value man, I'm going to see what type of hair he, he is most attracted to on me. So every day that I go out, I'm going to try a different texture and style of hair and see who compliments me on it, what type of men I attract, and what kind of feedback I get. So I can kind of put this to the test. So tonight, I decided to go with the type of hair that I've never worn in my life. It's gonna be a long, loose, wavy wig, okay? And I got this from Friday Night Hair. Let me show you. The consensus that's been going around YouTube is that High caliber men and white men or men of other races besides black which i'm looking to attract they like a more straighter texture of hair but we're gonna see so i got this wig from friday night hair it's the gls 109 it's a wavy texture i'll put a picture right here so you can kind of see the look that i'm going for we're gonna see what kind of fish i reel in tonight and I'm going for a very elegant, classy look, a new makeup. We're going to keep everything else simple. I think I'm going to wear my silk dress. When I wear this silk dress, I feel like a goddess. The material against my skin, it just feels amazing. It makes me feel beautiful. So that's what I'm going to go with tonight. So this is the dress. I actually did a video on my silk dresses and I'll link it above if you didn't see those. But this is the silk dress from Lily Silk. This will be my second time wearing this dress. Um, I love this color against my skin tone. I'm going to wear this. I know it's wrinkled. I'm going to steam it. Um, I'm going to keep my face new in the brown family and I think I'm going to wear I have these new heels that wrap around your ankle and they have this little cute little heel. They're not too high. And then I also have another heel like this that gives you uh, more of a height. But I don't know if I want to wear this platform because I heard that platforms make you look kind of slutty. So I don't know. I'll just see when I put the dress on which ones I want to wear. Or I might go with a mule. I'm not really sure. Once I get the look together, then that'll determine, you know, what shoe I end up going with. So ladies, before you do this, you definitely need to do your research. I've already researched the place I'm going. I have been there a few times on some dates. It is a very expensive steakhouse and that's where high value rich money, money men go and corporate men. And I've seen a lot of them in there. So I'm going to try to go a little early. It's Saturday. I'm gonna try to make it there about seven because it does get crowded and it's very hard to get a seat at the bar if you come any later than that. So I'm gonna to try to get there by seven so I can secure my seat at the bar so where I can be seen and I can see everything. So um, it's about 4 p.m. now, so I have three hours to get ready. I've already taken my bath, you know, shaved. I've already um, did my skincare routine. And so all I have to do is do my makeup, my body, lotioning and my hair so that's what i'm going to do next so after i go to the um i want to go to the steakhouse i want to sit at the bar i'm going to have a two drink minimum you know you're going to sip slowly and you know i go out alone a lot so this is nothing new for me but i haven't been out in a while so it's going to be me trying to get back into the swing of it so i might be a little nervous so until you know once i get get back in the groove then it'll come naturally 
So I'm gonna stay there for two hours. You never stay longer than two hours. Don't wear out your welcome, okay? So I'm gonna stay there for two hours and then I'm planning on going to another place, like a lounge afterwards, where I know that a lot of that crowd goes to afterwards. So I'm gonna stay there for about one to two hours as well. So hunty, we're just gonna make a night of it. So I can't wait to come back and tell you guys how it goes. I'm semi excited. So I pumped myself up, you know, I had a few glasses of our wine. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it out of the house tonight. I'm actually gonna make it out of the house tonight. So I'll come back and let you know um, the look that I put together in a second. So stay tuned. Here we go. All right, so this is the final look. This is the silk dress in the gold. Um, I kept my makeup very simple, nude lip, gold, nude kind of eye, very limited blush and limited shimmer. Kept it very nude. Um, I just put a pearl on each arm and my pearl set because I'm not leaving home without my pearls. And my shoes are the nude wrap arounds. Very simple. I did have on a little belt, but I took it off because I just want the look to just be polished. And I think I am going to carry my pearl purse because it can fit my phone and everything in it. This little purse right here. And it does have a gold strap. This is from Shein. This dress is from Lily Silk. The shoes are from she, I don't know where I got these shoes. Oh, I got these from um, Jess Fab. So, girl, I'm feeling myself. I've never had hair like this before, but I'm really, really liking it. You know, I really like how the look turned out. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. So, we're about to see how it goes. It's almost six o'clock. So, I'm gonna call my Uber. I should be there about 6.45 or so secure my seat at the bar so we're gonna see how this looks work tonight and I'll be back to tell you what happens tomorrow Mwah. so it's very important that you wear some comfortable shoes these are cute and comfortable just in case you have to stand up your feet won't be hurting um, this is the dress I steamed it and it just slides on like a glove it's just simple, elegant, and straight to the point. Um, this color looks good. I wore the pearl bag, a few pearl necklaces, and two pearl bracelets. Um, I kept my lips nude. My face is very nude. I kept the eyeshadow in shades of gold. And everything just came together flawlessly. This is how the hair came out, you know. I'm not a wig specialist. I just try my best. I don't do baby hairs and all of that, but... It worked well enough for me. I actually didn't even recognize myself with this type of hair, but it was kind of cute, hunty. I don't know. A few minutes later. A few moments later. A little later. So, I went to the first place, which was House Steakhouse, a very high-end steakhouse where you want to meet the men that. And I got there about... I went on Saturday, which was Memorial Day weekend, so it was May the something, 27th or 28th. So I made sure I got there before 8 o'clock because that's when the bar and the place gets too packed and you will never find any seating. So what I suggest that you do is you um, Google the place you want to go. I'd be research and find a high-end place. You Google the place you want to go. And then you go down and you see the peak times. You go to the things that tell you when they're the least busy and when they are at the peak of their busyness. And you want to get there right before their peak time. And that was about 7 to 7.30. So I walked in at 7.30. I called an Uber. I walked in at 7.30 and it was two to three seats at the bar. So I grabbed the seat, not the most desirable seat because I was not in the most position, the best position where people could see me. But as soon as somebody left, I moved to the great seat. So you wanna position yourself at the bar where you can be seen from all angles. So I got a seat and soon after that, it just got packed and no more seats were available after that. So like I said, I gave myself two hours at the spot so I ordered a glass of wine. And what I recommend is don't order a drink that you really, really like. 
because you'll be tempted to drink it fast. So normally I would order Cosmo or Lemon Drop or something, but because you're already by yourself and you feel like you need something to do with your hands, because ladies, we're not looking at our phone. We're not picking up our phone. We're staying engaged. We're looking around. We're making eye contact. We're smiling. We're, we're just listening to the music. And this place does have a um, live music. It's a guy playing the piano and singing. So you can gaze over there, gaze around the bar, gaze around the restaurant. So I ordered something that I really didn't like and that I wouldn't drink so fast, which is red wine. I ordered some Cabernet and it's really bitter and I don't really like the taste of it. So I was able to sip that glass. That's the only glass I had for two hours. And I also ordered a salad because at first I was just gonna order two drinks and not eat, but their food is amazing. So I love their chopped salad. So I had one drink and a salad and that was perfect my goal was you have to set limits you don't want to be drunk you don't want to spend a lot of money either so i had either a two drink minimum or one drink and an appetizer and at the other spot i had a two drink minimum as well so nothing was really going on in there you know i wasn't expecting to meet anybody you don't go out expecting to meet anybody you just go out expecting to have a good time look like you're having a good time really enjoy yourself really just pay attention to your surroundings and just look engaged and I pulled that off successfully. It was a lot of couples in there, but it was some single, well, I don't know if they were single. There were some older gentlemen at the bar that were alone. The one thing is I, I don't like about Hal's um, bar, the two bartenders there, they've been there for years and I've been coming to Hal's for a while. They're not the friendliest, they're kind of rude and you can't really get close to them to try to you know make conversation or find out who's who or get them to save your seat or anything because they're just kind of rude so don't expect you know to get buddy buddy with those two bartenders so i did my time i did my two hours and then i left and then i went to the spot that i know that whenever someone go to house they go to this spot because that's where the sugar daddy club or in the sugar mama club so young men go there for cougars <laughs> And women go there for men of other races and men with money. And most of the people from house always leave house and go there. So what you would see when you walk in here is become a mixed crowd. It's mainly not black, black women or black men. The only black men in there are with white women or seeking white women. That's why they go there and older white women because it's a cougar so-called spot. The only black women you see in there are seeking men that are not black or with men that are not black or seeking someone with a lot of money. And then there's some young people in there too. It's a great mix of crowds. Young, it's old. They play 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s music. You know, it's a <laughs> it's an older club. So they're not playing anything up to date. But what I like about Johnny's Hideaway and that's the place is like everybody's having a good time from young to old everyone's dancing with each other everyone's engaging with each other everybody's just having a good old time it's like a throwback frank sinatra type atmosphere and the drinks are strong the music is good and you just have a good time whether you're by yourself or not so i ubered there and it really was only like two minutes from the um, house. So you plan this out ahead of time. So I knew where I was going. So I did two hours. So I stayed in house from 7.30 to 9.30. And then I got the Johnny Hideaways. Now it's very important when you get the Johnny Hideaways too, because they get packed and that line is really, really long. So I looked at the peak hours too. So I planned it out to where I would be there in enough time where I wouldn't have to stand in the line. So I walked right in and let me tell you. I, knew I was going to have a good time in there because I always do. Still, no expectations. So I walk right in. Now it's my time to secure my place where I wanted to be, you know, where I wanted to be situated so I can get the best views and people can get the best, best views of me. The bar seating was kind of already packed. You don't really get seating at that bar unless you're there like 5 p.m., which is never going to happen for me. 
So I walked into the first bar. It was super packed. Um, it was standing room and I was waiting to get a drink at the end of the bar. And I saw the looks, you know, they were looking, they were looking like in Johnny's Hideaway, if they want you, they're going to come get you, period. They're not going to play around. So I stood at the bar for like a good 10 minutes. The bartender didn't acknowledge me. So I went to the second bar that they had, which is just like a couple feet over from that bar. When I tell you, I hadn't been in the club five minutes. So I go to the second bar. It's a gentleman standing there, a tall, lean Russian white male standing there and he was like oh you can come in front of me I was like okay so he kind of moves aside let me squeeze into order but I kind of just kept my distance and stood back I was like okay you know and then the bartender comes and asked me what I want and then I ordered and he was like and I've never heard a guy say this to me usually I'll be like can I get that for you I got it he said, do you mind if I pay for your drink? What do you mind if I pay for your drink? I said, of course I don't mind. Thank you. So he pays for my drink. He gives me his seat. And it was just a wrap from the end of the night. <laughs> I had only been in the club five minutes. So he said, it's not polite in Russia to drink alone you have to find someone to cheers with so he wanted to cheers with my drink so we drank and he pretty much bought my drinks all night long he watched my stuff watched my seat and I'm not one just because you buy me a drink I feel tied down to you I left him several times but he still saved he just sat there and saved my seat and all of that I went to the dance floor I danced with other people I had a great time. Whenever I wanted to dance, I go out and I dance with other people on the dance floor, came back and he was just laid back. He was just cool. He made sure I had drinks whenever I wanted them. He... So he made sure I had drinks. He made sure if I wanted any food, you know, it's very attentive, uh, very touchy feely though. And I'm not really into that, especially when I don't know you like that. So I had to keep telling him, you know, not touching me in a derogatory way, but just like, you know, very touchy. So I had to tell him, um, no, that you don't know me like that. Don't touch me like that. But um, yeah, I had a great time and he was just having a great time and watching me have a great time. He wasn't pushy. He wasn't, you know, jealous hearted. You know, men kept coming up to me while I was with him. He didn't get upset. We just had a great time. It was kind of a like breakdown the language. Like he could understand a lot I was saying, but sometimes it'd be like, I don't understand. And we would just like show a picture or emoji that kind of express what we were saying when he, he couldn't understand or I couldn't understand. So I end up staying in there a little longer than two hours because I was having such a great time. Wait, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, I think I stayed to like 1230. So almost two hours. I was having a great time. And so um, he kept grabbing my hand and taking me outside. So, you know, he walked me to my, he walked me to wait for my Uber. Um, he asked if I would mind if we exchanged numbers and if he could take me to dinner the next night. I said, I don't know, I will let him know. Just depends on, you know, how my day goes. He said, I would really just wanna sit down and have dinner with you. And I was like, so where are you gonna take me? He was like, wherever you wanna go, you just, if you decide you want to go, you just choose the place, send me the address and the time and I'll be there. What? My first night out is looking kind of good. So he um, put me in the Uber, he opened the door, he put me in and he was like, text me when you get home. They always say that, I never do. And I got home, he texted me like, letting me know he was at home and that he had a great time. And I just didn't respond. I just went to bed. So the next morning I got up, he texted me around 10.30. He was like, hey, how are you? It was great meeting you. Did you decide on if you want to meet up for dinner? I told him, I don't know yet. I'll let you know later on. If you get a text with a restaurant and a time, then that means I want to go. He was like, okay, I'll just wait for it. So he didn't really bug me throughout the day. I didn't hear from him. You know, he didn't text me or bug me because he works. He works a lot. So um, 
I decided I was gonna go. So at about one, I sent him a restaurant, a high-end steakhouse, because you let me choose. I'm gonna let you know how I like to be treated. So I sent him this high-end steakhouse that I like, and I sent him the time at seven. He said, perfect, I'll be there. He called me about five and told me that he was home getting ready and that he would be there at seven on the dot. So take my time and get ready. And then we just hung up. So I got, I actually went out early to that day. Like I went to brunch, I did some other stuff and I got home about five, but everything was done. Like my makeup and my hair was done. You know, I already knew the look, my hair wasn't done, but the look, I knew what I was gonna do. So all I had to do was, um, was my makeup and hair done? No. So all I had to do was do my hair. I had my outfit picked out and my makeup was already done. So I went with the second date. I went with the dress that I wore in my Miami haul. I'm gonna show it to you. I went with my knockoff House of CB dress. This one right here. The pink, I just thought it was pretty and elegant and all of that because the first day I wore, you know, that silk straight dress, I decided to go with a different look. So this is more like cottage core, cute, girly, very feminine and my favorite color. So I wore this. And because he kept saying, I love your hair, I love your hair. So I wore the same wig that I wore the first night. I just kind of um, switched it up a little bit, put some flowers in my hair. And I kept my makeup very neutral. I wish I took a picture for you, but I didn't know I was going to be going on a second date. Um, so I chose Capital Grill. I wanted to keep it close to the house because I was already tired. I didn't want to drive far. And um, so I chose seven. So, of course, I arrived a little bit late. I would like to let them get there first and see how they handle things. Will they make sure you got a good seating? You know, will they take the lead? So, he texted me. and was like, I'm here. I said, okay, well, I'll be there shortly. Go ahead and secure the table because the reservation is under my name. Just tell them they secure the table for us, you know. He was like, okay, got it. So, I arrived about 7.10. He was already at the table. And when I walked in, it was like two black guys and like the white lady the hostess was white and i was like um i have a reservation tiffany she was like oh he's already waiting for you so i could tell everybody everybody was waiting to see what table i was going to because girl when i walked in there i was just like killing them so i walk over to him he stands up as soon as i get there he gives me a hug and then he pulls out these bad babies in the middle of the restaurant aren't they pretty he was like i got these for you i was like oh my god thank you so we're in the middle of the floor he pulls out these flowers and everybody's looking but you know i don't care <laughs> um he's not dressed accordingly like he should have been but you know he he doesn't really do fine dining i guess he just goes in his neighborhood you know he's not a foodie like me so he did have on some jeans with rips and I was like, oh, don't do that again. No, no, sir. We can't do that. This is a very high end steakhouse. It's classy. So next time, don't do that. <laughs> so anyway, we had dinner. Um, he didn't really know what to order. So I, he just told me what he liked. I ordered for him and I ordered for myself. We had wine. He had wine. I had like a lemon drop. We had, we just laughed and kind of talked, talked about his work. I let them do all the talking. I don't say much. You know, he asked me about my work and I was like, my job is to find a rich man that's gonna tell me I can stay at home. <laughs> so he never asked about that again. So I don't really answer questions. I just kind of divert or just play it off with a laugh or a joke. And then he asked me, he did at this point was like, I'm old or something. I was like, well, how old are you? He was like, I feel like you're very, he said, I feel like you're very young. How old are you? I didn't say anything. I just turned the question back on him. I was like, how old are you? He was like, I'm 51. I was like, oh. He was like, I've never been married. I don't have any kids. I was like, well, do you want those things? He said, I can go either way. I can be married, I can have kids, or I can not be married, have kids. It doesn't matter. It's just whatever direction my life takes me in. I can do both. Great answer, because I don't want kids and I don't know if I want to be married. And 
he just was talking. I let him talk. I just listened to him. I asked about his family and I asked about his job. He liked talking about his job. So I just listened to him and we just joked. He's very sarcastic, very funny, just like me. We like to people watch and just point out things. He's very meticulous. So he pays attention to every detail. So he was like, I figure you're not ordinary. You're not, you're not, um, you're very unique. So I made sure I didn't get you something basic like red roses. I got you these roses, which they have like a gold flecker in it. He was like, because that gold on your dress, on, on your body and your brown skin, remind me of these flowers. I was like, oh. That's how he pays attention to detail. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. He was like, what is your favorite color? I said, pink. He was like, got it. And we had a great dinner. Um, we didn't stay there too long, maybe an hour and a half. We ate, we had a, one cocktail and he was like, since it's a holiday weekend, would you like to go, you know, have some more drinks or, you know, for a little bit? Sure, why not? So we went out to a bar, had a few drinks, um, danced a little bit and he wanted to stay for, he would have stayed there all night. I was like, okay, I'm tired. I'm ready to go home, you know, so we went. We um, left, like we left, he went home and I went home. And that was my experience going out. Now, you, you know, sometimes it doesn't happen like that. You just never know what to expect. And that's one thing about going out alone. If you would have been with girlfriends or things like that, that probably would have never happened. People feel more comfortable talking to you, approaching you and doing all of that when you're by yourself. It's always an adventure when I go out alone, always. People always approach me, women, men, it doesn't matter. You know, they just feel more comfortable doing so. So that's one on the roster. So we don't keep one, we need multiple. We need to date them and vet them appropriately and choose the best man for the job. So just cause I met him, no, he doesn't get to occupy my time or this weekend. I'm going back out. I'm trying to find another place to where I'm gonna get my next person to add to my roster. And we're gonna keep this in rotation. I think I only need about three or four and I'll just kind of see which one I like and which one I want to actually seriously date. So girls, if you scared about going out alone, I hope this video really helps you. Don't expect anything, have no expectations. Just go out and have a good time. If you don't meet anybody, oh well. If you do, oh well, but you put yourself out there. When you feel good, you look good, not feel sexy and that exuded out and that's what brought attention to me so let me know if you like my dress and my hair so next time i go out i think i'm gonna be wearing natural hair so i'm gonna do natural hair in a different type of style i might do natural hair and pin up i'm not really sure so this weekend when i go out i'll make another video and let you know um how how this look pulls now that hair it was wavy it pulled a lot of other races of men mainly Indian and white they were loving the hair okay so we're gonna test it with something like this and see who I attract um, with my natural hair and I'm gonna try that the weekend coming up so I'll film that so stay tuned to see how that outing goes and see what happens thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in my next video bye